Hi guys and welcome to yet another episode of our van build. Uh, in this episode we are trying to make the interior look a little bit prettier by putting a splash of color in the van on the cabinets. I'm very excited for that part so I really hope you are going to enjoy it and gonna like my color and try to finish up the water tank. Really hope you're gonna enjoy this episode and if you do, please like and subscribe. So it's a sunny but cold day and we started painting. Another small project of the day, um, make the new diesel tank ready for use for the, for the diesel heater. And, uh, this tank it will fit in the bench together with the water tank and uh, then we can remove the ugly hanging thing right here. And the way to easily do this is um, guide the little nipple um, from the inside of the tank using a um, little metal wire. It slides right over. You can easily uh, guide it through the through the hole you made. Be tight. It's good. Okay. And Okay, so that's it. Just gonna leave it like that for now. And uh, I need to shorten the tube, um, but I'm gonna do that when everything here is uh, sorted out. Next project is uh, installing two sockets, one 220 volts AC and one DC port that I previously used in my solar power box. So. It features a 12 volt display, uh, a 12 volt socket and two USB ports providing 5 volts. First I'm gonna fix this hack job and uh, use some proper uh, clips to keep the wires together. So this is a lot better in my opinion. It's time to mount this one. As you can see I already pre-drilled some holes. I'm gonna cut out, I'm gonna cut out a little square and uh, well, should be fairly easy. Batteries. Not much better. So, I think this already looks great, of course I'm not going to attach it yet, um, I'm gonna first put on another coat of primer. Time for the color! Is it going to be pretty? 
ready? Let's hope so. So it's paint a van, bring a friend weekend. <laughs> I... Another fun detail ready to be installed is the level sensor. It's that simple. And we're gonna put it right in the middle of the bench. There it is. We thought this was the most, the best spot uh, to have it readable from a lot of angles. So from the bed, from the kitchen, also from outside. You have to put your head inside a little bit, but you can see it while you're filling up. So, okay. As you might have guessed, uh, it's a whole making weekend. Uh, I borrowed a set of these um, hole saws from a friend. So uh, thank you, Sam. So I'm trying to use them as much as I can to uh, make the proper holes for different appliances. So we just put the uh, water level sensor in place. Now I'm going to make a hole for the tap. And next. On this same panel we will also install some electricals uh, that also require some drilling. I put the sink in to see where the middle uh, of the spot is where I should put the tap. Well, that wasn't too bad. What is bad though is that I forgot my camera batteries. It's about to die. Hopefully I can still film this using my camera. Let's go here. Wow. Cool. It's cool. It's actually starting to look like a kitchen, guys. Real pretty. Very, very nice. Let's take a step back and then here you have it. A little kitchen. Of course, uh, the tabletop or the the countertop still needs to be oiled, so uh, first we have to do that before we can uh, fix the sink and the tap. Uh, but uh, that's something for next weekend, I guess. Okay, on the menu today, I'm gonna take out the water tank for the last time to give it a thorough cleaning because it's full of plastic from drilling holes and stuff. And meanwhile, Nikki is going to give the countertop a whitewash treatment.
took out the tank, gave it a thorough cleaning um, with some water, with the vacuum. And, uh, next, I'm gonna figure out how um, to mount the pump and the electricals in an orderly fashion. wire to if you ever have to lift out the tank again you can uh, use this to pull it up because you won't be able to get it out once uh, the back panel in the shower box is, is done so it's gonna be something like this Last step is to add some Teflon tape, make sure all the connections are uh, watertight. So that's how it looks for now. Let's put some water in uh, the tank and see if it works leak free. Now filling up the tank for the first time, not completely of course, just enough to do a little test. I didn't notice but it was already working. Great success. So we already had that look before, but now it's all uh, assembled and connected, except for the water, but it's still, uh, it's not yet, there's still a little leak, so that's uh, for next time to fix. Cheers! Thank you. 